Okay, I'm Patrick Bailey from whiteboardcoder.com. Today is September 1st, 2017. And in this video, I'm going to be going over two different ways that you can get this. Hopefully, it'll work on other Asus laptops, but in my case, I specifically have an Asus GL753. How do you get into the BIOS uh, on an external monitor? Because right now, the default is if you, if you try to get into the BIOS, you can get to it on your LCD monitor on your laptop just fine. But if you plug in an external monitor, it won't go to the BIOS. Uh, It'll do a second screen just fine, but if you try to get to the BIOS, it can't do that. And there are two ways to do that, uh, and I'll go over the first one here. The first one is probably the most likely. If you're watching this video, you might have a cracked LCD, and if that's the case, you're going to have to actually unplug the LCD from the motherboard. And so I'll go over that right now. Okay, so here's the hard way. The hard way is I basically have to disconnect the LCD connection the, the connection from the monitor to the motherboard. And to do that, I have to take this apart. And when I do that, when I disconnect it, then it will try to use the external monitor first. So that's the hard way and more likely way if your LCD is cracked, you got to use it. So in this case, this is an Asus GL753, and I need to take all the screws off the back so I can get to the case. It's all one piece here on the back. And so I'll just take all these screws off. Okay, then there's actually one extra screw. It's a secret screw right in here. You gotta pop this guy open. And he's hiding back there. Okay, so now the screws are out. Uh, they gotta work. I got this tool for my fix it. So you gotta kinda work around the edges and pop it out. Pop this. So you have to work it too hard. It pops out pretty easily. There we go. That's all one big giant piece. Okay, now on this motherboard, the LCD is connected right here. And so what you gotta do is you can take this little plastic uh, tape piece back and you gotta hold it and kinda wiggle it back and pull it out. Just real gently, and there you go. And I'm gonna show how to put it back in because I'm not gonna make another video for that. So to put it back in, you just gotta line it back up again and kinda gently Make sure you get both sides in there, and you'll see it snaps into place. It's real smooth. It's as easy as that. Okay, let me take it back out again. Okay. There we go. So we'll leave it disconnected, and I'll put the... Let me put the back back on. And so now, because of that, it should not... It can't connect to the LCD, and so it'll try to connect to the HDMI, and so then we should be able to get to our BIOS. But just to keep this intact, I'm just going to put two screws in. So don't have to worry about it coming apart on me. Okay, so let's connect it to an external monitor and boot it up. Okay, now that I've got this all disconnected, so now when I start the computer, it should automatically start to my external screen that I have plugged in. Uh, so all I have to do in this case to get to the BIOS is i got to start it up and just hold F2. And there we go. It started, it's hooked to this screen over here, and it started, and it's running. And that's all you have to do to get into the BIOS. Um, the nasty way. But you are there, and now you're in the BIOS, and you can do what you need to do. Okay, now for the easier way. Um, and actually, in my opinion, this easier way should, it should be the way it would work by default, but it does not. Um, because by default, the security settings are on, and for some reason, you can't do it this way. But this easier way does not, you can do it, it takes a few more steps, but it does not involve opening the case and unplugging the LCD. But what you do have to have is your LCD has to be working on your on your laptop so that you can actually get to the BIOS on your laptop LCD. 
So assuming you're there, so you started your laptop, you hit F2, and you have your BIOS in front of you like I have right here. What you have to do from here is you go into advanced mode down here, click on that, go into security, scroll down here to secure boot, open that up, and where it's enabled, go to disabled. Next step you have to do is click on boot, the boot menu, and now you have this CSM support and it's disabled and you need to enable it. And then click on save and exit and save and exit. And then just save and exit these configurations. And, and then you're going to have to, um, and after you save this, then you're going to turn your laptop off in order to go to the next step, which involves pushing lots of buttons. Okay, now that I fixed the BIOS and changed it so the security's off, what I got to do is when I start up, so I got to start up, and then right after I start up, I hold down the FN and the F8 key. And that'll tell it to start sending it to an external monitor. And the minute that uh, the screen uh, goes off, that means it's done, and start hitting F2, because it'll go to the other monitor. It takes a second, but it'll do it. So here I'll start her up, I'll hold this, and you can see the monitor, Asus, and it disappeared, now hold the F2. And there we go. And so now you should be able to see that it's actually going over here, and so now I can do my tweaks. So that's the other way to get it to show up on the on external monitor, but it requires you to turn the security off, and it requires you to actually have access to the LCD monitor and have it working. So you know, at least there's a way to do it. Now, in my ideal world, it would be nice that no matter what you're doing, that if you held down the FN and the F8 key, whether it was security or not, that in my mind should always go to an external monitor. But right now, it doesn't. So anyway, so there is the two ways of doing it. Uh, one way you got to crack the case open and, and, un and unplug it. The other way, you can actually do it through the bio. You have to do do it through the BIOS, then restart it again. So there you go. That's how you get into your BIOS into on directional monitor. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username Patman Denver, or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.